Okay, this is Dr. Venus here, Hot Mess Millionaire. I need to talk to my white friends and allies for a minute because I gotta help you not screw the pooch, okay? So let me just begin with, I know you love me. I know you love us. I know you love black people. I know you love all people. I know this, okay? So I'm gonna say this to you in love so you'll be prepared, so you don't get dragged by black people right now, all right? I am very clear that the Black Lives Matter movement, George Floyd protest, Breonna, Aubrey, all of those are different from the coup that went down on January 6th, 2021. I'm clear about that. I'm pretty confident that most black people know there was some black people who voted for Trump and there's black, there are black Trump supporters. They, I want you to know we know this. So here's the thing. Nothing you're saying is wrong. It's just, a, it's wrong timing. This is what you're not accounting for white people, okay? And I say this in love, okay? You're not accounting for trauma. You're not accounting for that while it's not an equal parallel structure, what black people are pointing to is the double standard. If you look, and I'm gonna post some pictures over the next couple of days to show you the comparison. If you look at how the police came out in military gear, okay? for the George Floyd protest, okay? And you look at the level of friendliness, cavalierness that they did for the Trump supporters, you'll see the difference. Now, here's what you need to deal with as a white person who considers yourself an ally, and I believe you when you tell me this, okay? I don't doubt you, but I need you to understand something. Only, only a white person would take the time the day after a coup to explain to black people how we should look on the bright side that not that many people got hurt, it's not the same, that's called white privilege. That is what it looks like coming out of your mouth. That's what it looks like. For you to explain to me that it's not the same and it could be worse and Trump is almost out of office and it's almost over is whiteness. See, whether it's Trump or Biden or Clinton or Roosevelt, they still white. Okay? And if you look at the history of violence in this country, specifically with how the police handles what, we, what they call riots, the way this one was handled is very distinct from how every other one with black people was handled. Okay? So, <clears throat> I'm not mad at you. I love you too much to be mad at you. I'm not mad at you. I just wanna educate you so you don't get dragged because there are other black people who will not say it like this and they will come for that ass and they will be right because what's missing right now is empathy for the trauma that gets triggered when we see the double standard. And as a white person who calls yourself an ally, your job as an ally at this moment is to get on my side. That's your fucking job, to get in my world don't ask me to get in your world today. It's too fresh. It's too fresh. It's too fresh. I can't do it today. And I'm, I'm a thinking black woman. You're lucky I ain't got, God help me, Jesus. And I'm saying it in love. So my white allies, let me explain. Your white privilege is showing when you express to black people that what we're talking about is not the same as what happened with Trump supporter yesterday. We know it's not the same. But because white people keep trying to tell us that we're overreacting, that we should be grateful and thankful, that, that it's not the same, but it's not as bad. When you say stuff like that to us, it makes us want to pimp slap you across the room. And it's not because we don't love you. It's not, it's not that at all. We actually do love you. I have a lot of white friends well, I have a lot of people who are poor friends who happen to be white, who are amazing. But when they start doing this white shit, they start explaining to me about the, the nitty gritty details of the, 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 the inconsistencies between the two positions. You're not being my friend. You're being white. That's what you're doing. You're being white. So please do not be white today. Be white next week. Next week, I can hear you. I can have a civil conversation next week. 
Next week, we could have tea. We could talk about it. We could break down the pros and cons. We'll go back for reconstruction to present day, present day apartheid. We could do it next week. But today, be my fucking friend. Be my friend. Hear me out. Get on my side. See it from my perspective. Do that, and you'll have a friend tomorrow called Dr. Venus. You don't do that today. I'm unfriending you. I'm blocking you. I'm cursing out your daddy. I don't know what I'm doing. All I'm saying is, let me explain to you that it's not about accuracy. It's about a wound. It's about that every time we do something, we get dead. We don't get a circumference put around the White House and with a shield and a baton. We get guns. We get tasers. We get bullets. We get tear gas. They didn't get that. They ain't get no tear gas. The cops didn't even have guns. They had a shield, and I think they had a club. I can't remember right now, okay? So don't come at me today and expect compassion, grace, mercy, and understanding. I'm liable to curse you out, honestly. And, I, and I'm really. And the people who are my friends, who happen to be white, talk to your peoples. Talk to them. Have them stop posting on people's lines, trying to explain the difference. Tell them to stop doing that. Tell them they can do that next week, not today. It's too hot. Okay, I hope this is clear. I'm saying it in love. I love you, sis. I love you, bro. If y'all know some white people, tag them. Help them understand. Let me be the bad guy. You ain't got to tell them. Let me tell them. So they understand that it's not, it's not, um, I'm not angry. I'm hurt. Okay. And as a people, when we see this level of, 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 how do you say it, Jesus? Help me fix it. Contrast in the care and consideration that white people who are doing worse things than we ever did. We never stood in the White House, y'all. We never brought the Confederate flag into the White House. We never had a, a Trump flag. We didn't go and trash um, the, um, Nancy's office. We didn't do any of that. And yet, we're dead. That is what we're out to communicate. That is why we're talking about white privilege right now. That is why we are on the horn right now. Because this is what we've been pointing to. And now y'all can see what we're saying. We're saying, see, that's what I've been saying for 400 years. That is what we're out to say. That is what we're doing. That is why we're pointing the finger. Not because we're saying it's the same. We're saying this is the evidence of things yet seen. This is what we've been trying to tell y'all. But y'all being white instead of being a friend and being an ally and trying to logic us out why we should not be upset. When it happens to your kid, call me and let me not be upset for you. Let me not be upset. Let your child get shot. Let your child get beat down. Let your child, who's that baby? Who's um, the, um, um, the Karen who, Soho Karen, who attacked the 14 year old black boy because she said he stole her um, phone. And now he's traumatized for the rest of his life. Let's, let that happen to your son. And then come talk to me about fairness. Talk to me about making sure it's a parallel structure. It doesn't have to be, it's emotional. It's historical, it's a wound, it's a trauma, it's triggered. That's where we are, okay? So, all right, white friends, white allies. I've said my piece. Please share this video to all the white people you know. And if they have any problems with them, tell them to come talk to me directly. I ain't got a problem with it. I can talk to you today, kinda. I'll talk to you better next week when I'm not so mad. No, how the, it's, oh, no they don't need it like that. They don't know me like that. This is, for, this is not even for my white people. This is for people's white people, okay? When it's my people, I'll handle it. But this is not that. This is for me to handle people so that we don't end up losing focus, tending to some other things. And this, you're healthy, you're right, I'm being very nice. I am. But they don't know me like that, so it'll be all right. So that's all I got for now. Um, I'm trying to see if there's anything I need to say. Um, black people, send your white friends to this video. Don't talk to them. You're going to get too hot. You're going to get too hot. You're going to get hot. You're going to either end up cursing them out or breaking up the relationship because they're being white. This is white, this is white privilege. And this is what white privilege looks like with white liberals. They don't realize it. They actually think that they're being helpful. And I swear to God, they do. <laughs> okay? They don't realize they're, incite, they're inciting uh, a wound. They don't realize it. So I'm going to help them keep some black friends. Okay? 
All right, everybody. I love you. I'll let you girl. Please share this video. Don't be stingy. They need it. I'm trying to save you from... I'm trying to save some relationships right now. Okay? I love you. Goodbye for now.